Well, hello, everybody, and happy Thursday. No, wait a minute. It's not Thursday. Sorry. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it's only Tuesday. <laughs> Just feels like Thursday because this week is dragging. <laughs> I was at work all day yesterday, and oh my gosh, it was the longest day ever. But it is Tuesday. Um, I don't even know the date. I think it's the 14th of September, but I should have uh, written that down before I started. <laughs> But thank you for joining me today. Let me see if anybody's on here. Hold on. This is Lisa Freeman from stampingwithlisa.com. I forgot to say that. Hopefully I'm live and somebody's watching. <laughs> okay, I am live because I can see myself on my computer. So let me see. There's a couple people watching. Make sure you make a comment and uh, let me know if you're on here. And then I can see you. Let's see. Hope everybody's having a great day. It's a beautiful day here in Chesapeake, Virginia. And I just had a stamp class this morning and we had a great time. We made some beautiful cards. Hey, Pauline. Hey, Stephanie. Um, you guys put a comment on so I can see if you're watching. I can only see it on my phone right now. So, all right. What I'm going to do today is show you this beautiful card. I don't know if you can see it, but... It's showing how to make this beautiful sunset, and we're using the Welcoming Woods stamp set. Hey, Diane. Hey, Gala. How are you doing? Hey, Lois. Let's see if we can get maybe 10 people on here real quick. Watching you, prepared to hear your laugh. <laughs> I'll laugh just for you. <laughs> hey, Quinn. All right, so we've got some people watching, so... Anyway, nothing exciting going on in my life, except I'm just working myself to death. But I did have a fun class this morning, and we had a great group of girls here, and um, we just made some really cute things. A couple of them I've already done videos for, but one of them is a new card, so I'll be showing that soon. Hey, Kim. But the card I just made was after class, because I told the girls, I'm like, I got to get something done for class, for a video today, because I have nothing ready. So I um, looked through the holiday mini for some ideas and I found this card in the holiday mini and I thought oh I could do something like that and I'm going to show you that in just a minute so I'm going to turn the camera down and then you can see the card we're making and I'll show you everything that we're using so hold on one second and hopefully you won't get dizzy let me see I gotta find the button that flips it oh there we go I'm getting better at this I think I hate trying to put it in this little holder but hopefully it's straight. All right, looks pretty good. All right, so this is the card we're making. Isn't it beautiful? I probably should have put some uh, Wink of Stella on it to make it sparkle, but I forgot. All right, so I did mess up my little bow, but you can't really notice that as much as I do. I just noticed it because I did it. <laughs> but anyway, let me show you where I got the idea from. So in the Holiday Mini on page 46 is this... Um, stamp set which is what we use in the welcoming woods which I think is beautiful it reminds me of that um, embossing folder that we used to have in the old catalog um, and this is the card that I was looking at and I said oh I could do a sunset like that and just change the colors a little bit so um, I played around with it several times and came out with some different things I was gonna put the leaves on there and the first one I did I started with the gray I did this the um, trees in gray and I thought that came out kind of weird looking. So then I redid it in um, the soft suede. And let's see, which one did I do? Oh, this one. And I kind of messed my son up. And then I just decided I didn't really like those leaves. So then I switched it to the leaves from um, Lovely Leaves, the new stamp set with the leaves in it. And then I kind of thought, I really don't want leaves in it at all because the trees look so bare and they look kind of like it's winter, so I thought it doesn't really look like fall. So I just decided to totally get rid of the leaves altogether. So then I came up with this one. So now it looks more like there's snow, but you've got this really pretty sunset in the background. So I liked this one the best, so that's the one I stuck with. And then we're also using the embossing folder called Time Worn Type, which is really pretty. This is what it looks like, but it's hard to see. Um, I'll show you when I have the piece that I, I'd used, but it's basically like um, typewriter typing and then they just kind of wore it out so you could only see a little bit of the words on there. But I love this folder. It's really good for just about any card that you make. 
So let me just give out a couple cards. These are from the last few videos. Um, this one, the winner is Betty Hayden, and you won this beautiful pumpkin card. This is one of my favorites that I've made lately. I actually um, made some extras of this because I liked it so much. And um, my friend Beth, who let me borrow this stamp set and the dies, is coming over tomorrow. So I've got to give this stamp set back. But um, thank you so much, Beth, for letting me borrow that because I made some gorgeous cards. And then the winner of this one, this is the Jacob's, um, or no, not Jacob, Joseph's Coat. Um, technique and the winner of this one is Denise Ward so you guys just send me your address and I'll mail you the cards and let me show you um, what you need for this one so we've got Calypso Coral cardstock five and a half by eight and a half this is the piece that I embossed and you can see this is five and a quarter by four soft suede but see the texture on there it's just so pretty I just love it and you can see the words sometimes it's hard to tell which direction the words are going because some of them look upside down almost. And then we've got a piece of white, three and a quarter by four, a little piece of so saffron, and this is two and a half by three quarters. And I've got a bunch of pieces of linen thread, one to wrap around it and then a couple to do the bow. And I didn't really measure that, I just kind of cut a big piece, so I don't know how long it is. You'll just have to wing it when you do it. So take a screenshot of that and then, um, hey Pamela, uh, we'll get started. Hopefully you can see, I don't know why it always looks darker. Like my, my desk is so bright, but then on the, the computer, it looks like it's dark. So I don't know why that happens, but hopefully you can see pretty well. All right. So the only thing we're going to be doing is this in the little piece. And I'm going to start with the big one and get my scrap paper out because we're going to be doing a lot of sponging. I'm going to turn this around because I already sponged accidentally hit that edge right there. All right. So first thing I did was I took a post-it note. And I actually had to take a couple of them and punched out a one inch circle. And these post-it notes are great. I bought them on Amazon and they're super sticky. So instead of just the top being sticky, the whole thing is sticky. So the whole entire post-it note is sticky, which I really like for using on stamping products. So I punched out one inch circle and then I'm just going to put that on here wherever you want to. You can just stick it anywhere. And then um, that's going to blot out my sun. And the first time I did it, I put the open circle there and then shaded it, then put that on top and it didn't come out as well. So we're gonna start with the yellow, which is Daffodil Delight. And we're just gonna grab some ink and sponge all around it and give it like a halo effect. Whoops. So give it some good rubbing. So that looks good. And then we're gonna to go to the next color, which is pumpkin pie. So we've got pumpkin pie. Oh, gorgeous embossing folder. Thank you, Kim. All right, so this is pumpkin, pumpkin. Hey, pumpkin, my dad used to call me pumpkin. <laughs> He's been gone for a long time, but that was his nickname for me was pumpkin. All right, so then we're gonna go over that and around it with some of the pun, pun <laughs> now I'm gonna say pumpkin, pumpkin pie. <laughs> just to give it some orange in there. We've had some killer sunsets around here lately. And I live on the water, but I get the sunrise and not the sunset, which is almost as good, but not quite. So we've got some orange in there. Then we're gonna move on to pink. The pink I picked was Flirty Flamingo. So we're gonna put some pink on here and just kind of put that around the edges. And it's coming, oh no, oh no, that's a, that stinks. Well, darn it. <laughs> now I messed up my card. I don't think I have any more card stock. I don't, oh well. I don't know where I got ink on my finger from. I guess from opening that ink pad. Maybe we'll put the words on the other side and cover it. All right, oh, don't you hate that when that happens? I don't wanna start over. Oh, I could use the back though. Maybe I'll do that. I'll just flip it over and use the back. We'll just start over real quick. So we'll just peel this off. So you get the, the sun there, but we're gonna shade that. All right, I need to make sure my hands are clean. We'll put it back down there again. Let's do that real quick again. Sorry about that. I hate getting ink on my fingers. Good thing you can't see me 
from the top up because my um, arms are just jiggling where all the fat is. You know, maybe this is a good workout. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> all right, a little bit of orange. Back around with the orange. And I'm just trying to keep that kind of in a circular motion so that it's um, kind of like it's coming out from the sun, you know. I got something little in there too, but the, the trees will cover that part. Oh, I didn't even think the trees might have covered that one. Oh, well. Not down at the bottom, though. All right, so now let's go back to the pink. Oh, I see where that ink is. It's on the brush. That's how I did it. And I just did it again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's starting over. We're just going to have to live with that little blob there. All right, so I'm going to wipe it on my pants. Ah, that's so frustrating. I hate it when I get ink on my fingers. All right, so now we're doing the pink again. This is the Flirty Flamingo. Hopefully my tree will, no, it's not going to cover that. Oh, well. Maybe I just have to cut it shorter or something. I could do that, just cut off the bottom a little bit. All right, so now we've got the pink all around and we're gonna do some purple. Um, this purple I picked is Fresh Freesia. I know, rough day crafting. <laughs> A rough day crafting is better than any day at work. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of purple and this is not gonna show up all that well, but it just kind of gives it a little bit of shading. And I'm gonna put some down at the bottom. You can see it the best down here. I love the purple. So it reminds me of a killer sunset. And you just keep, whoops, adding these layers on here. Until you get it exactly how you want it. And I think that looks pretty good, except for that big blob right there at the bottom which we're gonna try and hide a little bit with something. I don't know, I might have to just cut that off. Darn, that is a bummer. All right, so, well, I could swap it out with one I've already done, but none of them are as good as that one. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is stamp the trees. So we're gonna go with the soft suede and ink it up. And then I'm gonna stamp off, cause I don't want it super dark. So I'm just gonna stamp it off really lightly and then go back on top. Oops, that was a big mistake. You know what I forgot to do is sponge that part. Hold on, let me get my yellow back. I forgot to color my sun. Okay, so just put some yellow right there and that'll be your sunshine. And I love that effect because then it looks like it's um, the real sun. You know how the sun looks kind of like white almost behind it? All right, so then let's do the trees. We'll just huff on it. And that's still wet there, so I don't want to touch it. All right, and you want these trees to go off the page. So make sure the very top of the trees is off of the page because you don't want it to look like you've got some tree stumps in the middle of your picture, which I've seen some people do, and it looks kind of weird. All right, so everything's good except for that mess right there. Then we need to do our words on our little piece. I'm gonna do that right over to the left. I'm getting ink all over myself. All right, we're gonna put this right here, over to the left, and we're gonna cut a little um, arrow out of that. All right, and then we're gonna also sponge it. So let me move this over here, and I think I'm gonna sponge it with the pumpkin. or pink. Maybe let's use the pink. Let's use Flirty Flamingo. So we'll get some pink on there. Oops. All right, so everything is done now. We just gotta figure out how to fix that boo-boo. I don't know what I'm gonna do unless I can cut that off, but then it will be kind of short. But that's what we're gonna do because I don't want that on my card. So we're just gonna cut it a little bit, just the bottom. So that's about a quarter of an inch off of it, which is a bummer, but that's okay. All right, so now we're good. 
All right, always a way to fix it. So there we go. So now we've got that done and I'm gonna take this paper away. So isn't that cool how to do the sun? I think that's so pretty. And um, then we're gonna put a little arrow right here on my happy birthday. And when I do the arrows, I always start from the center and then go to each edge and cut it. All right, then we're gonna wrap it. <laughs> Diane says, having a hard time doing this card. Yes, I am. And I didn't have any hard time doing it like when I was making it. I don't know why it's doing being so difficult right now. I could have put the words over on this side, but that's all right. All right, so we're gonna take the biggest piece of linen thread that I've got, and I'm gonna wrap it around twice and tie it onto the back. So we're just gonna tie that, oops, I'm gonna pull this a little bit. I got all the ink, that looks really pretty like that, doesn't it? On my rotten side here. I'm trying to figure out what to eat for dinner tonight. I don't really have much exciting stuff in the refrigerator. So I gotta think of something exciting. Maybe I'll have to go look through the freezer for something. Anybody having anything good for dinner tonight that uh, you wanna share the idea with me? I am really having a hard time with this card. <laughs> uh, I don't know why, it's just one of those days. All right, so we're gonna tie that in a knot and pull it tight and then trim that down. And then we're gonna put dimensionals on the back of that. So we've got, um, I like it crisscrossed in the front. So let me pull this apart so you can see. And I wanna scoot that over just a little bit. I think I pulled it too tight. Yeah, let me loosen that up just a teeny bit. Okay, made a little ding in my paper. All right, we're really doing good today. <laughs> I hope nobody's watching this for the first time and they're like, man, she sucks. <laughs> uh, okay, I had no trouble at all making this card. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay, so we want that crisscrossed where our bow is gonna go. So we're gonna just kind of move it over there. All right, I'm gonna put dimensionals on the back of this one. I think I need to go eat some chocolate. That would make me feel better. I was bad yesterday. After I got home from work, I was so stressed out because work was just nonstop. From the second we opened the door until the minute I left, it was never ending line of people coming in to the urgent care where I work. And um, I never got lunch or anything. And I was so hungry. When I got home, I just opened the refrigerator and I looked around. I'm like, ugh, I don't feel like eating anything in there. So I um, looked in the freezer and of course I saw that ice cream that I just bought and had to eat some. So I was very bad, very bad. <laughs> and I felt sick the rest of the night. So I paid for that. <laughs> I should learn my lesson because every time I eat it, I feel sick, but it's all that sugar. All right, so we're doing a double um, bow here with the um, linen thread and I'm just pulling it back and forth until I get it the size that I want. So that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna have to trim just a little bit off. And then we're gonna put that on with a glue dot. Y'all ever have those days where you wanna just come home and either eat or drink some wine or something? just to <laughs> calm down. <laughs> All right, so there's my bow. I cut too much of that linen thread on there. All right, now we wanna put the happy birthday down here. And I wanna kinda, of, well actually now that I cut the piece of paper shorter, I could put the birthday right down at the very bottom. What do you guys think? You want it here or like up there kinda of covering that? Then there's no white showing. I think we need to do it here. So I'm just gonna put dimensionals on the back of that. Balsamic chicken and mushroom ravioli. That sounds really good. Are you making that from scratch or is that like a frozen thing? 
It's perfectly imperfect. Aw, thanks, Pauline. <laughs> oh, Kim, you're sending me the recipe. Yummy. I do have some chicken in the um, freezer. I have to get it out. Oh, I do have an Instant Pot I could cook it in or air fryer. That makes it go fast. I've been doing all my vegetables in the air fryer lately, and they're so good. All right, so there's our happy birthday. Let me close this ink pad before I get more ink on myself. All right, then I picked Calypso Coral. I was messing with all the colors, and I didn't even use Calypso Coral in the ink, but it really matched perfectly with um, the pink and the uh, pumpkin mixed together. So that kind of looks like Calypso Coral. So I'm just gonna stick that on with some green glue. And anytime you're using an embossed um, paper, you wanna use the green glue because it does stick better and goes into those little cracks and stuff. But I like it a lot better than the regular tape. And just put that on there. I think I need more color on my sun. I think I'm gonna put a little bit more yellow on my sun just to make it stand out just a little bit. I'll put some more around it. There you go. All right. I think my first one came out a little bit better, but that's all right. All right. So what do you guys think? I know that was like the hardest card I ever did. <laughs> it's not. It's really a very simple card. I don't know. <laughs> if I hadn't got the ink on my fingers, I would have been okay. But I love it. It's super fast. Oh, Kim says it's super fast if you have the stuff. You could probably use frozen ravioli. I don't have any frozen ravioli. Mmm, that sounds good, though. I'd like somebody to come over here and cook me dinner. <laughs> All right, well, thank you guys for hanging out with me. Hey, Deb. All right, you guys love it, love it. Give me some thumbs up and some hearts and let me know what you think. I love it. I love the colors, especially the pinks and the purples. You can't really see the purple too much, but... The, the one card I did, the one sample, I don't know what I did with it. One of the first ones I did, the purple came out really good. But I just think it's really pretty colors. Thank you guys so much. I know it kind of looks like a fall card, but it kind of looks like a winter card too because that's like snow at the bottom. I just left it the white instead of adding those um, leaves on there. Don't forget I'm having that special where you order $50, you get, um, well, it's not my special, it's Stampin' Up! special, the celebration set. Uh, or, or product and then um, I am having a special so for every $50 you order you get entered into the drawing for the free mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and a $50 gift certificate from me and then also anyone who orders $400 or more automatically gets a $50 gift certificate from me $50 in product so um, that would be awesome if you all want to be my customers I would love it love it love it um, if you don't have a demonstrator already so just go to my website, stampingwithlisa.com, and here's the host code for um, September 11th through the 20th. And thank you guys so much. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to leave a comment, like, share, and all that stuff. Um, I would really appreciate it. And you guys have a fabulous rest of your day, and I'll be back on Thursday with another video. So um, take care and have an awesome day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.